This is my three-year-old Commodore Geist, and today I will show you how I give him a bath. The first thing that we start with is splitting all of his cords. Um, I've gone through most of them already, but I'll show you how I do a couple of them. Once I've gone through and split all of his cords, we can then get ready to get him into the bathtub to start the bathing process. Come on guys, come! Once we have guys in the bathtub, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to soak him. And the way I go about it is I soak him completely. I used to use a simple pitcher for bathing. But he's so big that that's not going to do. So I have upgraded to a hose attachment uh, with the regular outdoor nozzle. The hose is attached to my sink since it won't attach to the bathtub. My nozzle has different settings. My favorite two are the shower setting and the jet setting. I use the shower setting to get him wet. Let's see. I use the shower setting to get him wet and I switch to the jet setting which has a lot more pressure behind it and I use that uh, to, clean his, to clean his feet because um, the more pressure you have the easier it is to clean the cords and the feet tend to get the dirtiest. Um, so what I typically do is I start with the body and I do the head last just because once you start getting the head wet they will tend to shake themselves. So we'll do everything else first and then we'll um, do the head. We will start with the shower setting to soak him. The hair or uh, the cords are kind of like, uh, they have the texture of wool and um, they tend to be a little spongy so initially they don't really take up much water so it takes quite a while to get him completely soaked. So at this point, Guy's body is wet. I left his head dry. I do that last. Uh, so the next thing I would do is I clean his feet. As you can see, his feet are pretty dirty. Uh, what I do is I switch to the jet setting on my nozzle and I hold his cords in my hand when I clean them so that the jet stream from the nozzle doesn't hit his feet or it doesn't hit his skin in any way.
So at this point, guys, is completely wet. I went ahead and I finished rinsing off his feet, and I also rinsed off his head. What we do now is use whitening shampoo to clean him. I usually start with the dirtiest area so that the sh whitening shampoo has more time to penetrate and clean. Um, that being said, I start with the feet, and then I do his chin. And then I start in sections. I work myself from the back all the way forward. We shampoo the head last, and we will rinse off the head first. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and shampoo guys. I use a whitening shampoo. They tend to be a purple or bluish color. Whatever brand you pick, um, it doesn't really matter. They're all pretty good. So since Dog shampoo doesn't tend to spread very well. What I do is uh, I take some in my hand and I rub it between my fingers and I take a bunch of cords. Um, in this case, I'm starting on the feet, but you can't really see it. So I take a bunch of cords and you rub them between your hands. Basically the same thing that happens in a washing machine. And we go about in sections and uh, yeah, clean him completely. So I'm starting with the feet. Um, I want the feet to get really clean. And uh, since I don't rinse it right after I do it, it'll have the most amount of time to penetrate into the cords and really clean them out thoroughly. Geist is completely shampooed at this point. I let it soak in for a little bit and uh, I did the head last. So we are going to start rinsing off the head first and then go top down. Geist has been shampooed and I rinsed him out completely. So now I will condition him. I spray or I squirt some of the conditioner into a spray bottle and then we shake it up and spray it onto the cords. Uh, from my experience, it's the quickest way to do this.
now that the conditioner has had a chance to soak into all of Guy's cords, we're going to rinse it off. And just like with the shampoo, we're going to go top down. So now that we've made sure that all of the shampoo and all the conditioner is thoroughly rinsed out, we take the cords into bunches and we start squeezing them out top down until your hands go numb, basically. The more you can do with squeezing it out, um, the less moisture will be in the cords and the easier the drying process will be. The cords are squeezed out for the most part <laughs> and now we will towel dry him. Um, I describe it as towel drying semi-aggressively against the grain. This helps with tightening cords. If you have a younger dog that is beginning to cord, it helps uh, with developing the cords. So yeah. <laughs> 